This video will teach you how I use AI to make hundreds of thousands of dollars online. And if you understand these core principles, you can do this too. So let's just jump right into it. How I leverage AI to make hundreds of thousands of dollars online. Now, the root of this is that you need some criteria for this to work. You need to understand that you need a website. We need a website because that is the asset we are going to build. So you could be a local business owner, you could be an e-com business owner, you could be a blogger, anything like that can work here. So how do I leverage AI to make hundreds of thousands of dollars online? So at the core, my business is very simple. I run an agency, I build websites, and I publish content. This right here is the nuance of everything, publishing content, because every website is just words on the screen. It's really that simple, but you need to understand how to publish those correctly. So all of it is designed to capture attention and drive traffic to my assets. Now you can monetize different ways. When you're driving traffic to your assets, you can monetize in two distinct ways. Number one is the passive way, which is display ads, where you see those ads popping up on the screen. And number two is providing a product or a service, which you can make way more money that way. So that traffic becomes revenue, whether through clicks, leads, or monetized properties that I own. And every dollar starts with visibility online. And visibility always comes down to how search platforms decide how to rank your content. That's what this whole channel is about, how to rank your website, how to rank your content higher so that you can get more visibility to your website so that you can make more money. People who can figure this out can make hundreds of thousands of dollars online. So for years, this is, this is where it gets fun. I mastered the old game, which was Google snippets, carousels, ads, videos, knowledge panels. There's a very specific reason that I do YouTube like this talking to you right now. And I think it's going to be future proofed. So if you have the ability to do YouTube yourself, I think it's a good idea, but the old ways still work. And the old ways, right? The old games, snippets, carousels, ads, is when you come over to Google and we're gonna get into a few things here and you type in a query, right? We're gonna talk about this heat map. But there's a big, big problem nowadays. Do you see the problem? Because back in the day, it kind of looked like this, right? We had sponsored ads up here, and then a lot of blue links to websites where we could just click through. This is what it really looked like. You had images, you had people also ask. But this up here, right here, Google's AI overview has really thrown a wrench into a lot of people's plans to make money online. But the cool part is, and, and the basis of this video is that we figured out a way to rank on Google's AI overview. And you can, if you can figure that out, you'll figure out how to future-proof your website and get more clicks than before. A lot of people are freaking out that this exists right here. But if you do it right, you can show up on the AI overview, which is a Google tool. You can show up on ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude. You can future-proof your website using AI. Now we have a lot to talk about in this video. I mean, we have tabs upon tabs that we are gonna go through here together. But to start off, I want to tell you the core basis of ranking in Google's AI overview because it certainly is running the show right now. So it rewards two things that we have found. And, and mind you, we have an agency, right? I own an agency called Rank Expand, and I get to experiment with clients. We know what works. Okay, we can implement that over many websites, and this is what has shown to work. You can use this for your website too. So number one is freshness. So you have to keep the content alive, and I call it law firm style. Because if you know anything about law firms and their SEO tactics, how these law firms are hyper competitive online, they, they have to do things that most websites don't have to do. And they continuously refresh their content. They have associates. I know firms, big firms that have associates straight out of college, I guess, that their job outside of typical, I guess, lawyer in is to go to the blog and refresh that darn thing uh, every month, every blog post gets touched every month and it works. And the cool part is we use this tactic and we have been using it to rank in Google AI overview. So you refresh your content, but the question then becomes, how do you refresh the content? And it has to do with directness, no fluff, just answers that hit like a punch. Now we'll get more into that, but I want to go over this chart right here. I think this is from 2005 and it's a heat map of the old Google search. And it's very interesting. Do you see? where people's eyeballs go. So basically where it's like a brighter spot, and I know it's in black and white, but top left is where people's eyeballs go. So if you are a user, this study showed, okay, people bounce here, and then they come over to the right and they look over here. So is it any wonder 
right right here look here this is modern day search right here where my mouse is spinning is where people are going to you know focus their eyes but where are they going to bounce to the right is it any wonder to you why google made their their foundation for ai overview in this specific manner and what it tells me is ai overview is here to stay it's going to dominate and if you don't figure out how to rank on Google's AI overview, your website is not going to make it. Now we're going to go deeper, but before we do, check out the Rank Expand Academy. So I just launched this. You, dependent upon when you're watching this video, right? You have a chance to become a found-in member. So you get in first, early bird discounts, all these type of things. And what this is, is a community, a tribe of people that are all working towards a similar goal. And the goal is to make as much money as possible online, period. So you're gonna have website owners in there. You're gonna have agency owners in there. You're gonna have direct access to me because the reality is, this is the reality. In the past, I have learned that I cannot give everything for free on YouTube because if I do and I reveal my websites and I give you all the tactics, I get penalized. I've lost tons of money. And I think it was 2004 last year, right? Because of that. So now I've created a platform where I can give you everything. You can come on here. You can ask questions. You'll be around peers that are also making a serious go of it. You're going to have people in here making upwards of you know $500,000 plus in revenue. You're gonna have people who are newbies, but I've always believed that you are the average of the five people you hang around the most, right? So this is going to be an elite tier SEO community for people who want to rank their website and make more money than ever. Now we're gonna go over a bonus here at the end of the video, but before we do, let's talk about a little bit deeper on how to rank the AI overview so ai overview is an ai right it quite literally is ai it's an llm a large language model so we should look towards other large language models to learn from them so bing before ai overview came around they had what was called prometheus and i think it's still in and so what this is it shows and i think this is directly from bing but don't quote me but this is the logic so the user query so this is what someone types in do you see where my mouse is moving in conversation context so it used to be people would type in a keyword you know keyword typically four words or less but nowadays people are getting accustomed to this is what this is what's wild right people are getting accustomed to asking long sentences and talking to this like it's a robot because it is right so someone types in a query they type in a conversational context and boom Bing's orchestrator does a few things. It can do the chat answer, much like the AI overview. It can do next generation GBT, which is GBT, quite literally chat GBT, or it can give Bing results. All in the process, it can learn from all this, Bing index and ranking and answers. So what you have is you have the ability of search engines, Google, Bing, these type of things to give you AI answers now or the old school. But the trick is it gets to determine which one it's going to give you. Now, my assumption on this, right, if it's going to give us AI overview or is it going to give us old school search results, right? Just look here for a second. Is it going to increasingly give us AI overviews? In other words, when people type in something into Google, do you think the AI overview is going to be more and more prevalent? Because I do. I think this stuff down here is going to be pushed further and further down, just like it is. So, I think we should figure out how to rank here. And this is my future proof strategy. Number one, we have to write content. I'm gonna get into this. This is part of the bonus in the future of this video. And number two is we refresh that content and re repeat. So if you think of a restaurant, right? And you think of the head chef, what does the head chef do when they're in the back? They go up to the soup and they taste the soup, right? So what we are right here, when we refresh content, we have to taste the soup to see if the content is worth refreshing. And you do that with data. So if you're really good at ranking your website, you're a really good data and a data analytics person, right? So what you do is write content, you refresh it based upon the data that has shown to you in Google Search Console, and then you repeat. So let's just get into this content freshness. So the AI overview demonstrates a clear bias towards updated content. How do I know this? I've experienced it time and time again, and we replicated it. So this indicates that evergreen content now requires regular, deliberate maintenance. If you want to get ahead of everyone else in your niche, you are going to write content. You are going to taste the soup to see whether or not Google, number one, indexed it, right? Number two, did they rank it? If not, what are we going to do? We are going to revise it. So we're going to establish a quarterly or semi-annual content refresh. I think that's good for most websites, and we're going to track changes in rankings before and after each update to measure impact. That's the secret sauce right there, right? But if you want to take it a step further and actually 
move the needle faster, right? We have to do this because you're gonna you're going to refresh your content, but how are you gonna refresh it, right? Content directness. So equally important is directness. Google's algorithm favors clear, concise responses. I'm not going to give you everything on this right now, but just realize you have to audit existing content to remove unnecessary lead-ins. In the Rank Expand Academy, what we have is a tool, and this is pretty wild. We have a tool that is an API, an SEO API, that combines with a LLM. So basically what we can do is say, scrape the top 10 search results for this query, Tell us why our content is not ranking well. How can we revise it so that we can rank better? And we can do that at scale, right? This is an agency thing that we offer to our clients and it works. That's how you revise properly instead of doing that manually. That'll take you two hours manually. It'll take us five minutes over 50 pages uh, with our systems, which you'll learn in the academy. All right, so multi-platform future proofing. So what we do, and you have this, is build an internal SOP for content refreshes. Now this next portion is our bonus area, right? So what this is, I, I think most people will miss this, but you have to pay close attention. I'm gonna move fast, but check this out. So bonus time, most queries are four words or less. And guess what? Most specific queries are only searched 10 times or less in any given month. And that's a huge implication because 95% Check this out. And you can pause the video here, rewatch this, but 95% of queries online are more or less unique. So think about this. The human language is built such that you could say the same thing, the same implication, the same, the same, what is the word I'm looking for? Essence in many different ways. I can tell you that I went to the store and bought groceries. I can say that I drove my car to the store and I bought food for my family. That's saying the same thing right? And that was many words. And when you take that and you raise it to the nth power and all these weird mathematical things, you'll start to, to realize, wow, this makes sense. This makes a lot of sense. And that's what people will call the zero traffic keyword strategy, which used to be a really popular strategy, but I think it's still hyper important. And it is the basis of what we use at the agency, which is called semantic branching. I don't want to get into that right now. I have a page which I can link right here. Uh, rank expand. This is this is core to our agency. This is how we rank websites because everything I spoke about in this video it all ties together. It's it's always a foundational on top of this. Da -da 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 -da. It always builds upon each other. So my recommendation is you come over to the pages I referenced in this video. Check them out. See if they are for you. You have two options. You can hire our agency to be a done for you service, right? Or you can join the academy if you're a do it yourselfer, and join a community of people who are doing it too.